Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress Island and Bark. Today we are going to be breaching the aquifer, or at least starting to breach the aquifer. Uh, I've got my browser open on how to do the double slit method, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't lose anybody. Uh, like I said last time, we were going to, I think, try to do it around this area. Um, and I know we, we kind of, you know, this is the area that we started, hmm like, uh, you know, testing the aquifer. But I feel like we've already messed this area up enough that we can't really do that. So I'm going to go over here. Um, this will be the perimeter. And uh, like I said before, I think it needs to be... Um, I think that's fine. We leave that like that. This will be this right here. Eh. We're going to build... What did I say we need? We need like um, four... We need four by two area. And then around that, um, let's see, four by two area. Let's see. Um, sorry, this episode might be, uh, hopefully this episode won't be boring, but I am gonna keep like consulting this thing. Uh, we're gonna dig downstairs, left and right of our two by two stairs. Dig up two by two stairs. Oh, 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 oh. So the two by two stairs need to be on this level, right? Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. I almost totally screwed this up already. Uh, let me get rid of this. I need to start digging down up on this level, I think, if I want to breach. And I guess I'll do that. So I already, where can I do that? Um, maybe I can dig in here? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I think we only need a four by four by two area. So it'll be like this area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dig um, an up down stairs. I'm going to make it look just like the picture I'm looking at. I'm just looking at the Dwarf Fortress wiki for double slit method. Uh, if you're interested in that, um, <laughs> you can follow along at home. Uh, and then I'm going to make, uh, are those downstairs? Yeah, downstairs um, are going to go J here and here. And obviously, I'm going to need to get to that area, which means here. I'm going to dig this out and this four by four area. That is where we're going to dig down, I think. Yeah. OK. In fact, why don't we make this a little two by two tunnel? And that way, the ramp doesn't kind of interfere with it. We can always expand it later if we want. OK, so we're going to dig that out. We're going to build those stairs. Oh, so that also means that we're going to dig downstairs Right, yeah, there. Okay. So our miners, our miners will get around to that soon. But this is kind of exciting. Uh, oh yeah, so they're also gonna, so now all the wood is gonna move here, which should save some time instead of dragging it all the way down to this level. Although I think first they're gonna move all the stuff from this stockpile, because we removed wood from that stockpile. So they're gonna do that. <coughs> okay. Yeah, pretty sure we're doing this right. If not, you know, that's that's how Dwarf Fortress goes. You you mess up big. You mess up big or you go home. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I'm actually wearing a t-shirt right now that says losing is fun, which uh, my wife bought for me. Um, it's it's like a and I like it's a like a baseball shirt, like a three quarter inch sleeve shirt with a picture of these dwarves, like these same kind of uh, bearded ASCII, like smiley face dwarves. Um, that says losing is fun. And I like that it's a baseball shirt because uh, and losing is fun is kind of the unofficial motto of Dwarf Fortress. But uh, it, like if I wore this like out to a baseball game, it, it's kind of an, you know, <laughs> kind of a, an, uh, con a uh, what's the contrarian uh, like, oh, I'm just here to lose. Um, like I'll play and I'll have fun because losing is fun. OK, so it looks like we built uh, all of our. Well, no, is this one built? 
this one right here. Oh yeah, it's built. Okay, so all of our workshops down here are built, which is good. If we if we end up killing any any uh, like hippos or anything like that, they will go down there. Oh, speaking of hippos, that's something that I could do before, like while we're breaching, is I could try to trap them. Um, I assume. Oh, oh look, is that a spider monkey? Yes. Okay. So last episode we saw that there were spider monkeys over here being really stupid and falling from trees, but now we can see that they are, I think they have, we thought we theorized that they could climb across the treetops and get to our part of the island, and that's true, they can. So as long as they're not aggressive, and I don't think they are because they're not attacking those starving dwarves over on this side, the migrants that we don't care about. Um, so we can even capture them and make them pets, maybe. Who knows? Um, we're also, uh, we also carved out, uh, do I have doors yet? Yeah, I do. I'm going to make a door here, because this is where we're going to put our nest boxes, that little room. Um, whoops. Door. Okay, so uh, that's the door that I removed uh, from, like, right here. But that's fine. I think it's more important to have it there. We're going to put nest boxes there once they're built, which uh, they are not done. They, I think they're about to start, hopefully. When she's, when they're done making the, when she's done making the wooden blocks, uh, then they should start on that. Okay. Um, but we have an animal trainer. We have a dwarf designated as an animal trainer. And that, I think that one is our, oh yeah. Oh no, no. Um, this one is not, I don't think is a real one. Yeah, you're over here. Um, even though you're an animal trainer. I think our expedition leader though, down here, Adil, you are an animal trainer, I believe. Yes. So we have someone set for animal training, and I don't think a deal is doing much else. Yeah, he, he's just storing items. I think a deal is, is male. So look at this. I love, I love this. I love that lungfish can move on land and water. I love that that's a thing. And they just like, they just walk around. Yeah, whatever. I'm a lungfish. I can do what I want. <laughs> Uh, okay, but uh, wherever our hippos, so to if we want to train hippos, we need to catch hippos, which means we need cages. These spider monkeys. Do you see that? Like, I think that monkey that just ran away. Like, I think he climbed a tree, fell down, and then was and then freaked out because he fell. These spider monkeys are really dumb. Is that that's a horse, right? Okay, I, I'm I'm a little I worry a little bit about those hippos. So let's see where uh, do we have hippos on the map? others. Now we have spider monkeys and carp. The hippos, it looks like, have left the map, although uh, I would guess that they will probably come back at some point. You know, they're probably just like somewhere, like just a little bit off the map. Um, so I still want, I want to make cages and I want to make, <coughs> excuse me, a uh, wooden uh, cage. I actually think I want to make a lot of of wooden cages. Let's start with 20. It's not going to be prior. We, we still want to make some like the nest boxes and stuff first, but um, we're going to want to put cages in a bunch of places and try to catch hippos, even spider monkeys and stuff, because it would be really cool to train them up, uh, even domesticate them if possible. Um, and, you, you know, like the I, ideally, like at some point in the future, we could have like war hippos, which would be awesome. Um, and we have an animal trainer dedicated just for that. Uh, so uh, let's put that animal trainer to good use. Okay, our two woodcrafters are um, are whittling away. This is good. Okay, um, whoops. So, all right, here we go. So we have that, and then we're going to dig more aquifer stuff. Up downstairs, here, and here. That looks right. And then once we do that, it says we will pump the water from one slit into the other. A pump can only be placed on a floor, not a staircase. So we're going to construct two floor tiles. Oh, so right here, we're going to construct two floor tiles instead of two up downstairs between the slits. Wait, can I do that? Can I put, put a pump here? Even though there are stairs here? Well, let's find out. Build, uh, is it machine components, screw pump, and uh, it's got to be change orientation. No. Needs ground or near a machine. Needs ground or near a machine. So how does that work? Why did it tell me to build stairs here? 
construct two floor tiles. So I think we actually, oh, so we would have to build a floor there. Um, which I guess we'll do once they dig that out. Okay, that's fine. That's what it says to do. So we'll make a floor, I guess, out of wood. And then we'll put a screw pump on top of the floor. <coughs> Pumping from the west, it says. Probably doesn't really matter, but they might have instructions later that specify direction, so. Uh, okay. Uh, how are our nest boxes doing? Uh, they sell and made them. What are you making up here? Wood, all right, wooden cages, wooden doors. I don't know why. Oh, wait a minute. Can you build nest boxes out of wood? Need logs. Oh, I don't have any logs. Oh, whoops. Let's cut some trees. Sorry, I was not looking at those messages down there that were spamming. Chop down trees. Where do I want to chop? So I kind of like that they're... Uh, I mean, I could just chop the trees around here. In fact, I probably should chop the trees around this base because I'm going to want to build wooden like walls and and floors and stuff. Uh, so why don't I chop? I like chop down all these trees. That's a lot of trees to chop down. Uh, but it means we'll have wood for a long time. I kind of want to chop this one down too. I kind of want to keep... Uh, oh, what is this? Is this a... Is that a... Is it bees or termites? Bumblebees! Oh, I can't... Do bumblebees make honey? Uh, and can you make a hive out of wood? I think you can. I'm just going to queue one up here. Um, no, not Farmer's Workshop. Where's the... Uh, oh, down here. Um, add new task. Uh, hive? No, no, no. Uh, whoops. Add new task. Uh, do you see anything about making a hive? Oh, you know what? I think I think uh, down here in the crafts shop, you can make a hive. Oh, that's where you make nest boxes too. Oh, that's why they're not making nest boxes. Okay. I hope I have someone assigned to that. Uh, but we also want to do a um, wooden hive. Can we make a wooden crafts wooden hive? Uh, let's just make a couple. Um, Reap. Oh, no, not repeat. Uh, well, uh, add new task. Yeah. And let's make one of those up there. Okay. So, uh, and now I need to make sure that, so the carpenter is set to do not just wood cutting, but wood crafting. So we have one wood crafter. Why don't we also make our miner Risen also do uh, wood crafting. Actually, you know what? That's kind of redundant, isn't it? You don't need an axe to do wood crafting. Um, wait, is this a... Okay, let's take that off and let's give it to someone that's not doing anything. All right, so Kib, our farmer, looks idle. Why don't we give Kib... Whoops. Uh, wood crafting. Just temporarily. Hopefully we'll remember that we did this. If I don't remember, uh, please tell me. <laughs> if at some point, some reasonable time after this, I clearly have forgotten, uh, definitely call me out on it because I don't... Uh, I mean, at some point I could always even like off screen, I could load up uh, Dwarf Therapist and just make sure everyone's... Like no one's repeating those jobs. Dry scene has come. Autumn has arrived. Construct wooden blocks. Makes... Oh, we made step ladders. Cool. Um, that's very cool. Do I have to set up step ladders? I wonder. I'm kind of curious. Build, uh, is step ladder a thing here? Uh, cage, dot, dot, dot. Support. I don't know if it is. I don't know if you can just tell them to pick stuff, uh, on a tree if they will automatically use a ladder. Let's find out. Um, gather plants. I, I would guess gather plants. Does this work? No. What about like this? Are these plants? Okay, there are no plants there. So, what about, is, is, and there's no like gather fruit or anything. Whoops. Um, so there must be some sort of, unless I can say gather plants like on a tree. 
Can I gather plants on that tree? Nope. How do you use a step ladder? You know what? I'll I'll look. Um, I guess uh, after this episode, I'll I'll take uh, I'll take the initiative to check that out myself. Uh, but we have we have step ladders now, so. Oh, you know what? Maybe you have to build it. Like build it as a construction. Uh, how do you build a construction? What's wrong with me? Um, walls? No. Um, is it? Oh, there we go. No. Nothing like that. Okay. Am I just not seeing it? I'm probably just not seeing it. Okay. Whatever. Next time, I will... For next time, I will look into that. Okay. But we have... All right. This is good. This is looking good. This is just like the picture. So now, let's... Uh, we need to build a floor, uh, which is construction, floor. Yeah. So... Just like the picture, put it there, and okay, we'll make it out of pomegranate wood. Cool. So someone will do that. That's a building test. So I think the architect needs to look at it, and then anyone can build it, because uh, I think everyone has that. Like you can see, uh, like some of these, like other jobs, um, con uh, wall floor construction. Everyone has that on. Same with like uh, road building and a few other things. Um. Is anyone working on those nest boxes? No. Uh, I didn't make them yet, did I? No. I gave, who, uh, who's doing fell tree, brew drink. I mean, brewing drinks are important. Everyone's busy, that's fine. Wait a minute, hunt for small creature. Oh, all these dwarves. All these uh, migrant dwarves that are over here that are starving are hunting for small creatures I ass automatically. I assume so that they can eat them because they're starving. That is really interesting. They're just like, they're, they're just like, uh, what's the word, foraging for grub. Maybe that's, maybe they've made friends with the spider monkeys because they're like picking, picking like bugs off of their, <laughs> like picking lice off their fur and eating them. I don't know. But look at them. They are, they are like, they are scrambling. They are starving, but I guess they haven't lost enough energy. And they haven't lost enough energy yet that they're, uh, uh, that they've slowed down. They're just like, we got to get food. We got to get food. Oh, uh, we can't watch. We can't watch that. It's too hard. I look at the, I love the sea. Now that the seasons have changed, you can see like the, like the red and the green. You can see, you know, the leaves starting. Oh yeah. Look at it. You can just see just right now, the leaves starting to change. They're going from green to yellow uh just like right while we're watching and then of course they'll turn to red it's very pretty i love all these different colors of logs too like it's very, it looks very uh rastafari citron bitter orange and uh, the red ones are pomegranate very cool and then we have some ones with black background which are oh which are mango and akasha if that's how you pronounce it i probably mispronounced so many things you don't have to call me out on that, though. You should just let me live in ignorance. No, I'm just kidding. Call me out on whatever you want. Okay. Uh, did we build that floor yet? We built the floor. Time to build... Not a statue. Um, bu -bu machine screw pump. Okay. Um, okay. Pump from... We want to pump from the west, which is that way we'll make it out of avocado wood and this is uh this is our um corkscrew an enormous mango wood corkscrew and a mango wood pipe section we'll just make whatever is closest okay cool so we're building our first screw pump which is very cool and like i said before we in another episode we'll have to like um, unfortunately we can't do automatic power. We'll have to just like pump it manually, uh, cause you need, uh, gears, uh, which, uh, to do like, um, if we wanted like a, a water mill, uh, and to make gears, you need mechanisms, uh, and to make mechanisms, you need rock and we do not have rock or something, or you need material that's not, that we don't have basically, even though we have a, uh, mechanics workshop, we, that was, 
that was uh, optimistic thinking. Okay, so we made drinks. How are our stockpiles looking? Oh, we have a ton of drinks. We don't have to worry about drinks for a good while. Probably not really food either, although... Um, how much food do we have? We're still preparing easy meals, too, so... Um, oh, where are you running? Oh, they're running from that monkey. They're running from the spider monkey. Oh, they are scattering. Wow. That spider monkey really spooked them. What is with that guy? Look at him. Spider monkey. Can I... An animal, a small animal found in the canopy of the jungle. They have extremely long arms and legs. Her skin is copper. Her eyes are brown. Uh, but I guess they're not part... I can't look at what she's thinking. I don't think. Hold on. Spider monkey. Um, Z? No. Uh, no, I can't. I can't look at it. I can follow her. Where are you going? What's in your head? She just wanted to scare my animal. She thought it would be funny. These spider monkeys, man. I tell you. And then, hopefully... Oh, so now all my doors have to go and, like, I think, collect... No, I think they're slowly coming back to their pasture. Which is kind of annoying. My alp The alpacas... It's probably... It's probably been enough time that I can re-milk, re-shear, and then... I can make cheese from that milk. And I just haven't repeated because they'll just do it for as, like, until they're not able to milk any more animals. Uh, and then and then that task will go away. And I think that's it. Spin, we don't need to spin through it. Okay. Cool. Um, so I think we have someone designated to do that. Probably our farmer. I can't remember. Uh, no nest boxes yet, right? No nest boxes yet. Man, come on. We're, everyone's busy. Everyone's just busy doing stuff. Planting seeds, preparing meals. I guess that's the problem with... I mean, that's the, the one issue we're going to keep facing with Seven Dwarves is just managing each dwarf's tasks and time a little better. But honestly, we have two people making crafts, and I think at least one of those is also set to do... Once once they're done that uh, with all, all of those jobs, they should make... Oh, look, they made wooden cages. Awesome. Uh, they finished making the cages. That's a lot of cages. Uh, so the hippos were down in the river before. So I'm kind of thinking, if possible, it would be cool to put them down there. Although, I'd be a little nervous about, like, can we put one there without falling in? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we can see. The outpost lead... Oh, this, so the, our, the first caravan has arrived. Of course, the caravan cannot get to the trade depot, and we don't have a trade depot. So the caravan should just immediately turn around. That's fine. But I saw another message in there. It said, we got, uh, we already have a baby alpaca, which is awesome. Yeah, sweet. So we're making, we're making, uh, we're making more alpacas, which means we'll be able to have more milk and more, uh, wool, which is cool. Uh, okay. Uh, our screw pump is placed. Awesome. So we, <laughs> it, it's still slow going. Um, and I think the next thing after this, um, is we remove the downstairs from the source tile. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to cue this up now before we end the episode, is uh, is uh, no, is it uh, X? Oh no, I mean K. The stairway. I, I need to remove. What is it? Remove construction, or no? Remove stairs. How do I remove it? I channel it, I think. If I channel out this area, re yeah, channel it out. Remove the downstairs from the source tile. And then they should start, and then they'll start pumping. So I'm going to designate that. And I think that's going to do it. So next time, for next time, we'll continue to slowly uh, work on breaching our aquifer. And while we're doing that, we'll continue. We'll actually, next time, we'll set some cage traps um for spider monkeys and hippos um we'll continue to maintain our fort uh maybe we'll even start you know getting to build some walls and stuff now that we have a lot of wood um and we'll continue to ignore our uh, migrants and our caravans uh which should be lots of fun okay so thanks for watching and uh i'll see you next time bye